Welcome to Iowa Live. We are at Central Iowa Neuropathy at 210 Northeast Delaware in Ankeny with Dr. Ole Olson talking about peripheral neuropathy and how he can treat your pain. First of all, doctor, let's remind everybody what peripheral neuropathy is. Yeah, well, peripheral neuropathy is simply damage to the nerves outside of the central nervous system. So our central nervous system consists of our brain and our spinal cord. Mm -hmm. uh, peripheral neuropathy is damage to those nerves outside of it. So the ones leaving our neck that go down our arm into our hands, mm -hmm. uh, leaving the lower back going down the legs into the feet and then those ones that leave the spine and go into our vital organs. Okay so and we have damage that happens to these nerves and how do people know that they might have some damage? Yeah so some of the common symptoms that we see uh, could be like a numbness, tingling, even like a dead feeling so sometimes they just feel real heavy. Uh, sometimes it's more pain involved so it could be sharp uh, shooting electrical type pain, could be burning pain, cold pain. Uh, other times it's just simply some balance issues or coordination issues. And what are the causes of this happening? Yeah, there are lots of different causes. Uh, the primary cause is diabetic neuropathy. That's sure. the most common type. Um, the chemo induced neuropathy would be the second most common type we see uh, from cancer treatments going through chemo radiation. Uh, the third type is what is called idiopathic, which is really a fancy doctor word for we're not quite sure. Uh, <laughs> within that category, there are about a hundred different uh, potential causes causes that we look for um, from different types of medications, different chemical exposures, things like that. All right, so how would somebody know if they are experiencing peripheral neuropathy? Yeah, so you know these symptoms are usually a good uh, indicator of something's going on. Mm -hmm. um, just like your check engine light on your car, you don't just slap a- You need to pay a, attention, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't just slap a duct tape over it and ignore it. Uh, but that's what we do a lot of times in society is we ignore these symptoms. So you wanna get in and get tested to see if this is something that's going on. The sooner we can detect this, the, the, the better outcome as far as treatment. All right, and how are you detecting this? Yeah, so a couple of things that we run, what I call our 30,000 foot overview tests. These are our preliminary tests to see, is this something we should move forward with and do more advanced testing? So I'd like to run a couple of tests on you if that's okay. okay we can do it right now, we can do it right here. Perfect, all right, all right. okay, what are we gonna do? So first thing we're gonna do is what's called a thermal scan. We're gonna look to see how is your blood circulating. So I'm just gonna have you hold your hands out okay. like so. All right, hold right there for me. Perfect, all right. Okay, and you can do, I'll do this on your phone. Right on my phone, yeah. It's, How convenient it's is fantastic. that? fantastic. So, is this a great country or what? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll explain this and we're gonna pop up an image of the sure, feet. Okay. So it'll be a little what bit different. What are we different. looking at here? So we're looking for the colors here. So you see this bright white yellow color? Mm -hmm. That's normal. So that would be good circulation. You have a nice warmth coming off of you in those areas because it's good blood supply. Now in the foot image, they're gonna see it goes from this bright white into like an orange, red, purple, and even black. Okay. Now obviously black is the furthest away from that bright color. So that's, there's some serious circulatory issues going on. Now this image that we're looking at now is uh, somebody that came into your practice a while back, yeah. but um, did they realize that it was that serious when they first came in? A lot of people don't, and once they see that, it's a real eye opener that, hey, there's there's definitely circulation issues, because you can even see side to side how one has brighter than really? the other, and the other side is dark and black and just not circulating well. That is incredible, you can, yeah. but that's just one of the tools that you use. What else are yeah. you using? So like I said, this one is to look for circulation because if your blood's not circulating properly, you're not getting the oxygen and nuts into those nerve endings, thus they're dying off. And okay. that was the whole thing we did with the hand that we right. talked about. So this test is going to help us determine if you have a sensory nerve issue or more of a motor nerve issue. Okay. So sensory is what you feel. So you should feel like a buzzy, tingly, shocky so sort of sensation. So it be electrical type yeah. thing, okay. And then motor, you should see twitching of those muscles. Okay. All right. So we're gonna first start, just go ahead and place your hands on oh, here. Oh, you put these on, okay. Yeah, I was wondering I, about <laughs> that, okay. Okay, you feel anything there? Well, I can feel where my ring is. I can, I can feel in, like, like electrical pulses where my ring is. And then my little finger. Starting to see a little bit, there we go. Look, look, can you see that? Look at that, jumping around like that. So now he's got very good motor activity. Okay, so, so what does that indicate? So that tells us that there might be some sensory nerve damage going on right really? now. Really? Yeah. All right. So like I said, usually if, it's, if someone has really good sensation, they touch it, they jerk away right away. And so we might not be able to test the motor. Wow. So for someone like you, like if you came in with neuropathy of the feet, there's times I touch their hands and they jerk away. I go to their feet and I can grip it. There's no twitching, there's no wow. sen sensation at all. And I can work up the legs to see where's, how far up has that damage gone. All right, you folks, you, you need to get tested. You need to find out whether or not you have peripheral neuropathy and Dr. Olson can treat it. He has a bunch of different treatments that we'll talk about here uh, in upcoming episodes, but people want to get more information. Uh, how can they do so? Yeah, call the office right now. We've got a seminar coming up. Um, so we'll have a seminar for free to come out, learn more about this information. When you come out to our seminar, 
webinar, you're actually gonna get my book, Reversing Neuropathy for free. Okay. It'll explain in a lot more detail what we can do to help these people. There you go, there's the number folks, 515-505-3700, 515 515-505 3700. Dr. Ole Olson, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us yeah, today. Well, it's centriowaneuropathy.com for more information as well. We'll be right back.